it started from EC Council CS Practical Scholarship Journey. So I have applied it through this website. If you go and search for EC Council, uh, but now in 2022, it, it is not there, but we can check regularly on their site. If it does, then it will be there available. So for that time, the scholarship cost is $550, but I got it at $99 and uh, the mail also will show you here's the mail which i got from them that is series practical scholarship award and the price was 99 usd which, which i have to pay and that is how the journey began Let's start with my study material. Then first uh, we'll go to YouTube and start to type CH practical. The list open ups and the first is the video playlist of CH practical. This playlist is really helpful and it will help a lot in understanding the absent labs questions from the lab perspective. And also you will understand what all things we are missing while uh, studying self-study. These videos help for those who have not purchased the Aspen Lab and they want to know about how it looks and feel like. After that, uh, you can uh, refer the other videos here, like from the Anki, from the Anki Chauhan and uh, other thing uh, who has really passed. See them not from other things from genuine sources. This person's uh, the master sparks from here. I have learned like the booking of exam and other things like uh, making up self notes. Uh, from there from this video i've got the motivation to make the self videos which which, which will be helpful uh, in the exam itself and other videos also from the siddhas india vlogs and other videos you can saw we can see after that if you want to go to uh, blogs the, for that you can just type um past cs practical practical which will be helpful from here you can see the medium articles the blogs and everything uh, from yeah from the, here you can get like uh, what all question they have asked and uh, different perspectives of different persons how their approach was see remember yeah, your your approach would be totally different from others why because if some some question has been asked uh, asked uh, you can you may have uh, multiple ways to solve that question so you have to develop your own uh, set of uh, methods so that you can pass this exam Apart from that, you can refer, which I have referred, uh, this uh, GitHub repo, that is Guide CH Practical Master. So I have referred this format, uh, the self studies uh, VM, which 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 uh, which will be there. And uh, here he has told Kali Linux, but in my case it was Parrot OS and Windows Server tools. Uh, what I would recommend is uh, the that that cannot be ignored. Is first one is Nmap. Then is Hydra, SQL Map, WP Scan, Metasploit, Wireshark, OpenStego, StegHide, or QuickStego, and VeraCrypt, and also the encryption tool, which is uh, which here he has not mentioned, but in my self-made notes I have mentioned it, and I will show you in a moment. And other links also you must go through it, like uh, like having a hands-on experience on Hack the Box will really help you in getting like the things done. Apart from that. Uh, the links which uh, which, which uh, has given this repo, you can refer it. Then other thing is like, uh, yeah, uh, refer the whole things. It will be really helpful. If you miss some one or the two other, uh, it may not work out for the person who is getting started now from, but who has the experience bit in uh, cyber security. This makes the difference. Actually, in the exam, uh, it hel it makes the difference. Means if you if uh, there is a question which uh, asked used to use um, only the sql map to get the values from sql injection that can be achieved from burp suite also by uh, by crafting a malicious script and getting into it apart from that that will go on to the next section in the questions part how to approach the things that i will tell you apart from that i have created myself notes here you can see um, this is net discover by hearted by hearted by hearted. It is really helpful whenever you start the exam. First command you must run is this part. This one only. Don't miss this one to get the idea of how much live hosts are there. It will give the accurate result. Apart from that, if you want to uh, double check, you can use uh, one more scanning tool that is Angry IP Scanner. But I have you I have created two um 
I have created two backups. Like for if this doesn't give the proper result, I will check it from Angry IP Scanner. But this only help me, and this is what then scanning of IP addresses, enumeration part, system hacking, uh, steganography. This uh, this snow tool is also very useful um, in cracking the given file. That is, you can say website website hacking and password cracking. Uh, Skip fish was not used. WordPress, yeah, uh, WordPress site will be there, which is given to you to crack from the user and password. That will be that that can be done using the Hydra tool. Uh, Hydra to FTP cracking also will be there. Yeah, that is there. And SQL injection, SQL injection for that is there. Uh, now we are focusing on like uh, information which is used for studying. That I will show you. Apart from that, I have used this VM in my virtual box. Uh, that is OAPS broken web application project files. So here in whenever you search, you will land in the summary page, and from there you can go to files, files folder 1.2. Then from OAPS OVA, this can be directly imported to your virtual box or VMware. From there you can really help. From there you can really uh, start learning, and it has multiple vulnerable website that is DBWA multi tied Pentilide uh, and other websites also, which uh, I have to not seen, but it it really helps to understand uh, if something go see if something uh, different approach for different thing can be done. And a web goat also is there. This is what uh, resources is self sufficient for uh, you to study and excel in it. Next, uh, we'll check the other parts. My lab environment was uh, specific to virtual box. Here I had multiple machines running. One is for Kali, one is Kali Parrot, Android, Ubuntu, Windows 10, XP, Plus 16, uh, Parrot and Kali to get hands-on experience about, about the tools and Windows are specific for Android, uh, specific for uh, Active Directory, Active Directory username, passwords, uh, and for running any reverse collection, I was using Windows 10. And for Android for Android hacking and Ubuntu for covert TCP, yeah. Exam booking can be done from Aspen portal. From there you will redirect it to the exam booking site. But first but first we have to log in to Aspen portal from clicking on login, then enter your credentials, click on login. <coughs> After the login, you will land to on the My Courses page. Here it is showing, showing completed, but I have a screenshot which was taken when I was about to book the exam. It is here, you can see that uh, it shows me the 53 days to complete CH exam. Scheduled exam, launch exam, CH practical, CH exam status, that will be showing if you're not booked. Uh, but, but since I have completed, it is showing completed. Uh, let's start to check from booking of exam from here only. When I click on exam, it will redirect it to direct to here. Then schedule exam, it will open up a new page that is proctor.examspecialist.com. Enter the credential and click login. From here, you can go to schedule session. Select the provider. Then we are CH practical, find session. So currently when I'm recording this video, it is 30 September, so 2022. So current available date. So you can see current available date is here. So in next month it is to current available date. So if you click on random list, let's say October 26th. So it will show any in the sense not available. Literally the exam slots are booked and there is no space you can take in my case, I have booked the evening slot that is 5.15 p.m. IST. So from there, luckily I got on 21st September and it to it helped. Otherwise, all the entire other dates were full. So better if you are, I would recommend is when you are completed with your portion like 80% guaranteed, then you can book your exam. That will be at least one month ahead, one month or 22, 125 days ahead of it. Depending on your luck, the exam is available or still, see, still 
till 5 it is not there and those who have voucher they must be very careful uh, because the exam slots are not available and if we are thinking like 10 15 days before we can book the exam that is not at all possible so please have uh, keep checking first of all keep that uh, keep checking at the entire dates some of the spot is this here on november 17 there is there so if i select this one it will show the time that is 10 30 ist so we can confirm the exam booked that is there after you book the exam now i uh, in if you go in schedule sessions you will see your session exam then the timer the date seconds everything will be there uh, so from here you can track your exam uh, that's it for this one and on the exam day you have to log in to this site and you have to start exam from here and they are very time particular uh, 5 15 or 10 30 whatever exam time is there that time only the exam starts uh, the you will get the link from the go to meeting app that is the unique link so don't download and keep uh, any other apps that is go to meeting that thing that will be automatically downloaded whenever they give the unique link to you so yeah this is there the main part is exams question so let's begin for example let's see the exam which is which is appeared but i will remodify it that must not be then again case uh, about that one here yeah, we will do the exam question but similar questions will be appearing in this part which is closely related to the questions which i am showing you and yeah so first is while running a map script it was found that the port used to establish a windows remote desktop connection was opened in one of the machines on the network find the ip address of the machine the question is there so first when the exam starts uh, usually you run the, the entire nmap scan for the on the whole subnet from there you will come to know about uh, what all machines are having the ports open services running in that part you will come to know that windows remote desktop connection remote desktop connection how it is established that is the port 389 so that is there so main part here is 389 right so you have to first search in your nmap scan which windows uh, which machine is running 839 port number which is open and that machine ip address you have to queue inside the text box which is provided so this will solve the first question that is this part now the same question can be reframed to others also like for example uh, it's remote desktop connection port number they are asking so it can be now different thing that is ftp so ftp is run on uh, runs on 21 port number so that machine ip address you may have to give other than that it may also they may also ask about right, mysql server that runs on 306 if you're not if you don't know mysql server port number then you can simply search it and you get the information about it so this is how in one question they can ask uh, different methods that is there now the other question could be related to stenography for that they must determine the information heading in a file along with the account number present in the file they will give you the path and the password so this is what uh, the information is in a file in the sense uh, this question is related to a stenography and here you can see that the password is given so you can easily guess that uh, that it may be like a snow.exe uh, software you can use to run from the command line to get the account number from that text file next question will be related to uh, pcap files that is uh, wireshark pcap files almost two to three questions will be there to analyze uh, the pcap file and get the information from it the sample question was like examine a packet capture and the file name will be given and where it is located it is located in the documents folder enter the credential found in the capture file the question will be long but i have uh, created a short for you to understand uh, from here for example how you solve this uh, this type of question means uh, they have told, told key um, enter the credential found the capture file in that means the pcap file has the normal uh, uh, plain http connection connection logs which uh, here uh, the username and password will be in uh, plain text so you have to analyze that uh, that can be done by opening that file in wireshark then right clicking and tcp stream 
there you can search for username or password from there you can get the username and password and that will be the answer they will be given the format then uh, suppose the username is adam and password is smith so you have to space uh, write adam slash smith so this is how you can uh, analyze it one more question will be related to the DOS attack that is uh, examine the capture file packet capture file that the name will be given uh, located in any in the path they will be giving uh, that will be a parrot machine or the Windows machine that in the path they will give enter the IP found in the capture file which has a more number of connection to it for example I will show you so to solve that uh, that question you can simply go to the wire uh, sometimes you will give the ICA file for example I have created while well, my lab experiments uh, uh, for my well, self study so if I double click, sometimes it doesn't open. So it doesn't mean that it is not a Vyasha file. Pick up in the sense that file only. So we can do it by going in the Vyashark. Vyashark, enter the password. This is in OS. So I will open from here, open, from open, then to my, <coughs> so the users file, then here it is the pickup file. So here you can see the, the packets on going to you. for DOS and without packet analysis you can go to directly for start and the conversation and from conversation you can go to IPv4 so you can sort it by packets packets in that more the packets on top will come and the lesser it will go down so here you can see the IP address which is this is my local IP address so nothing to worry about it and here you can see this packet from address A to address B, you can check. So based on this, you can analyze in the exam, it will be different, but uh, this is how you have to analyze uh, the DOS attack or DDoS attack. So from which IP it has occurred and how many IP addresses, sometimes they are asking DDoS attacks for how many IP addresses uh, the attack has been happened to that particular machine. So that you have to specify the number two, three, four. Uh, this is how we can do it for that question. Apart from that, we will be having a question for any encryption and decryption also. In that, uh, we can, the tool that was used that is uh, BC test encoder for one, one question was from there. MySQL injection, you can use SQL map to do that one to get the details or the contact details um, of that specific user by using by dumping that entire oops, uh, the entire uh, database and getting the contact number or the username or password. Uh, question changes but the techniques remain the same android hacking yeah android hacking also you, uh, for example if you are uh, they will ask like uh, to get a text file data from an sd card so there will be a android machine learning so you have to get that adb access go into that sd card get that file content then paste that content onto the answer box uh, the grip tool also it will be there. The grip tool also is really uh, they, will, they will be giving in the decode technique that you have to use and decrypt that uh, encrypted data. And from that uh, decryption, you have to enter the text. Hash compare will be there, multi uh, two, three files will be there that you have to compare. So that it, they will be asking that which uh, which file is been modified based on the hash comparison. So that is all the questions which i have shared with you and yeah we'll move on to the next section now we see the tools and techniques uh, which have helped me a lot, lot in uh, clearing the exam so this is a repo which i have which i made while i was studying for it parallelly so that it can be used uh, during my examination uh, and this helped me really a lot to uh, so narrow down the results and the study material which I was studying to. So first one is recon part. Here the list, net discover command is should and must to get the live host and also the end map to get the ports open and services running. This command if you run you can get the entire thing. O is specifically that it uh, it creates the files in three formats uh, and uh, that will be really helpful from what technique what i have used is to converting the xml file of nmap to the html report uh, when you click on this one then it will open this page that 
creating the HTML reports from the XML file. This will really help you for you whenever you have to analyze it. Why? Because analyzing the terminal, uh, it quite it might be uh, difficult for some, but uh, some may do it. But for me, I wanted the GUI interface type, so I have found this one. Uh, so whenever uh, you use this command Excel T proc and the nmap file name dot XML um, hyphen O and map dot HTML and map dot HTML or whatever file name dot HTML you create you can see you can open that file in a Firefox or, or any browser and you can see the graphical interface the table the state everything will be in nicely formatted so can you can easily uh, see through your eyes and get to know about like what is going on what is not going on and later on SMB version scanning this all I was uh, going through the YouTube playlist and I was making it and scanning the network you can do it uh, if you are using uh, Windows to scan, you can use the angry IP scanner or advanced IP scanner to scan. In impression part, this part helped, didn't help me a lot, but yeah, it was good to know that how we can connect to a shared resources which can which has been discovered from uh, uh, and map scan. And SNMP, SNMP innovation, this also is good to understand vulnerability analysis. Uh, there, there, there is no need to analyze vulnerability in the exam section but for your knowledge purpose we can see it Nessus and Icto applications we, that is used for vulnerability analysis system hacking system password hacking yeah this is this is the uh, one of the blog which I have read they have uh, mentioned the question like uh, they were asked to dump uh, the password from the windows and convert it to the text and use any of this software to crack that hash file and get the user and password that is there so you can you must uh, learn how to do uh, do it in a moment i will show you my, my a vm environment where i have practiced this part and so only i have written this command directly uh, that also creating a reverse tcp connection this also you must be knowing like uh, whenever you are creating anything a setup and you are getting that thing that must that knowledge must you you must be having how to take a reverse connection technography is in the important part of it and snow.exe you cannot neglect which i have showed in the questions also where you will be given the password you have to enter and the text it will show the text get into the file sometimes you can use open stego based on what they have given you the question you can do it but usually uh, usually what i have gone through the blogs uh, they have told snow.exe is mostly asked so it depends but uh, knowing uh, having the knowledge of these things it doesn't go waste uh, lmnr and mt poisoning this in my case it was there was no question related to it but yeah, one of um, the videos which i was searching they told like uh, i was said this question also has came so you must be going through it uh, website cracking uh, website cracking this part is not means it is just for uh, getting the vulnerabilities but yeah wp scan is so majorly you are it is used for attacking a website which runs the web, uh, wordpress site so this is what and when it comes to user passwords uh, passwords and the username yeah it is given on the desktop of a parrot or a windows machine uh, windows money in my case it was given on the parrot desktop machine saying the word list in that there was the username dot txt word list and the password dot txt word list from there you can give the path and the url and you will be easily able to crack those uh, username and password in same in case of ftp or in any other ssh service you want to get the username and password you can that, that username username word list and password word list you must use Apart from that, file one upload vulnerability. It is uh, this is specific to DBWA uh, file upload uh, section that I was practicing, and so I have written it. And you must be doing that because sometimes uh, in a in a blog there was given like upload a file and get uh, the list of file like list of files stored onto that server. So this is the best thing you can do it while uploading a, raw, a, a, a PHP file and getting the access. Uh, by using the meta exploit reverse sometimes if it, if this doesn't work you have to use a plain php uh, that is reverse shell uh, txt and you can use the netcat command to get the reverse connection weebly also is used but in my case i have tried weebly on the exam section but it gave me error uh, but um, yeah so, so 
see uh, when you're planning so you must be having a backup plan too because in your lab environment something works and the exam time something doesn't work so that is what i'm telling you sql map it doesn't fail but you must be knowing uh, the cookie uh, when, when the cookies uh, how to use this and the command so practice it on to your uh, vm dvwa or uh, web goat or multi ride to attack their db and dump the entire db and get the details of username and password so you cannot ignore you must not ignore i can say a skill map password cracking yeah password cracking hydra 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 so it is the best tool you can use for cracking any service password password or username so yeah if if they don't give the username use that you word list which is given to you and the password and the ftp format uh, for different services are different so i have given it for telnet so in my case there was ftp to crack and sometimes such as also have been asked and login form also you can crack but it it depends like how much good you are in uh, your burp sheet skills uh, so that you can get the exact uh, post form details and can easily use it cryptography is must and this tool hashcal is really helpful when you are comparing a file hash to other file and this hashes.com it, it is used to decrypt the hashes which you will get from um in some of the question you which is required to decrypt the hash so you can online you can easily open it and you decrypt the hash apart from that md5 cryptoforge yeah cryptoforge uh, in my case it was not there but some of them have uh, told they have got that question bc text encoder uh yeah it is it is should when must the if you want to if you want to differentiate see so many encryption and decryption tools are there but uh, if the file contains this text begin encoded message and encoded so it is definitely the bc test encoder software which is which must be used so for accessing this uh, bc test en encoder you are uh, in the windows shared resources there will be tools which can be used so from there you can do otherwise you can download from website but it is not recommended they have given so you can use their itself and apart from the vera uh, yeah it was the question which was asked to me uh, to decrypt the um, uh, record file get the file details and enter the uh, content which was there in the file the password was given to me uh, in the uh, files and record tool is should crypt tool also the in this case crypt tool also is used uh, they will give you the encryption and the decryption algorithm which is which can be used and the password also uh, like the key which you have to enter the key uh, 0, 5, 14, something else that will be there. Android, Android hacking is there. So easily you can do it by this one. In Parrot, you can easily uh, run this command. Uh, everything is installed. Just you have to run this ADP device L. Then you will have to connect to, the, to that uh, Android machine. That is the IP address you must be knowing. That is should and must. That can be obtained from the Nmap scan easily and then you have to get uh, the shell access from there you can uh, navigate to the specific uh, specific folders to get the text file and enter the details go over tcp in my case it was not question but some of uh, the blogs they told me that uh, there was written that the um, tcp cover tcp question also had came so in that part you must be practicing that one i have created the video for or uh, this cover tcp that you can check it out uh, in my channel in the, in the same channel and you will get to understand why sharp capture file also have given so that you can understand how the things uh, will work the text file is hello this one two three space hyphen so this is the identification which is used so that is it this means say sometimes i have like uh, for transferring from one for parrot to windows how you will do that that you have to figure it out i have used ftp server or um, to do that one in my lab environment and uh, python also will work but sometimes it doesn't work so you must be having one or the other backup plan to solve see for for that one. finally the d-day exam day so my schedule was at 5 15 pm and i had logged in exact time at five minutes early 
later on the exam started and it uh, redirected me to a go to link after that the proctor took control and entered his username and password in aspen portal from there it redirected to a website where the where the exam was hosting in that one the ui look was like a, a mid section was for the labs left section was for text and right section was for the text uh, uh, the sets of uh, flags which i have which we have to capture we can say it flags or questions which will be uh, which has been asked so in my case there were two machines parrot and the windows and the and the machines were slow i have seen other videos they were telling like it was it is speed but in my case it was slow don't know in your case what will be but in my case it was slow accessing the slow was slow like uh, if you're typing any command in a terminal the delay was there one second two second delay was there so that is pretty slow and the console size was and the window size was really small in a browser uh, it was small only uh, so whenever you uh, on that exam day you must show your room that no one is there the desk is clean so i had my uh, government id proof uh, or connected mouse and a laptop and a plain desk and everything was in the room was a bit empty and that is what is required apart from that in but uh, something worst happened to me on the exam days like uh, the browser stopped work the internet which i was uh, pretty sure that it won't fail i was connected to lan of 13 bps but to that lan got disconnected automatically i don't know why uh, but in that part um, only the for only the go to ui was working so that i can chat with uh, the proctor that was working but the lab the websites were not loading and the internet was not connecting it was showing the dns error so it was really bad time and a panic a lot to see what has happened so i requested the proctor to uh, what can be done so the proctor told me is like to open other side open our uh, once again the aspen uh, portal so that we can log in till that time i was i had solved four to five questions so i was worried okay again i have to solve but luckily that didn't happen um, that that was automatically saved so when i again re-log in after um, some time then i was uh, back to uh, back where i left uh, so what has happened it, to me was uh, my browser was not working the other i had opened chrome firefox to check whether it's working or not in my command line i had pinged the dns address of google that was responding but in browser no website was opening so i got frustrated and, and i thought to restart the computer uh, the laptop then the doctor told okay uh, you can restart it and here uh, he gave me the go to link save it and when you get back open the link so the proctor was really helpful and cooperative so i rebooted the computer and connected once again the lan i rebooted my modem also but uh, then luckily after restart uh, the internet was back and i was able to connect back to him by the go to link and the exam started the exam took me around uh, 2 hours 45 minutes to complete the entire exam and yeah so some of the uh, was suggestion what uh, what i have what i can give you is like um, for example if you have any question there there are multiple ways to solve but if you have uh, if you have done a uh, good hands on practice to it then it will be really it will be really helpful uh, to uh, analyze the question and st start doing the unknown information not required information and focusing on the information which is uh, which is important so that is the part and on, and on the exam day i will show you what i have done so that was much uh, but uh, do keep have some power backup internet backup so it doesn't bother you when something goes wrong and these things are happens only when there is a the requirement otherwise uh, it never happened to me when i was using it regularly um, the PC was running and everything was okay. That is that. So coming back to my score, uh, to check that score, I have logged into the Aspen portal, check the exam status, you will redirect you to a different page. And yes, here you can see it is 19. 
completed on 21st September and the certificate exam is there. So the exam is par passed 20 out of 19. The passing mark is 14, but it depends how you go, go to it. And yeah, my score is 19. That was really, that is really good. So my my final thoughts on this examination is that go to it, take it and, and rock it. Um, but do remember that will this certification help you in your career or job uh, uh, based on the growth part. So I would recommend take the certifications which is which will help you advance your career and job. So it will be really helpful. Don't go in the comparison like people are doing CH practical, OSCP, other EG. Uh, PT that all that things all other certifications are the different playground and this is this is different so if you want to progress further apart from CS and C theory so it is better that CH practically is good to start and I want to share you one quote that is there in theory theory and practice are the same in practice they are not so it is actually true if you read what all uh, notes i have given and just uh, read and keep and you will be waiting for the exam date then it won't work out in practice it is totally different the net discover command if you run in your if you read uh, here and it, if you keep and if you won't run then it is uh, totally waste and in practically if you don't see uh, the outputs and don't analyze what is what is going on in the network then it is totally different so theory is different practically different so each of the commands here which i have given i have manually typed and run and ran on my uh, ems and took the output and understood like how things work so you also do it and and surely you will rock and crack this exam this is not this is not to be frank this is this is not that rocket science which we are learning but yeah it is good to um, good to learn or good to start to, whatever we can say that one so all the best do uh, do remember in your prayers and thanks a lot share share it like it subscribe it and yeah thanks a lot all the very best see you guys thanks for watching like share and subscribe